Hi friend, and welcome back to Marvelous Friends, your home for all things Marvel Cinematic Universe and beyond. I'm Rhett, and today I'm doing my gets and gots from the month of May. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's roll that credit. In the month of May, I did a bad thing. I was in the house bored, and I was bored in the house, and I downloaded the eBay app. And the treasure trove of Funkos available on the eBay website is just ridiculous. Um, I went a little nuts, probably did a little bit too much, but that is what it is. I, of course, didn't end up with everything I was bidding on. That's just how eBay works, but I did end up with quite a few. Um, so this video is going to be primarily me discussing Funkos I picked up uh, because everything I bid on was Funkos. But there are a couple other things, and I will start with those. The first thing I picked up while I was at the store, I noticed this in the $5 movie bin while I was picking some other things up, and it is the Howard the Duck movie DVD. Now, I have never seen Howard the Duck. Of course, Howard the Duck is a character in the comics, and he made a cameo appearance in the Guardians of the Galaxy films. Um, he is in the collector's collection. Um, so I'm excited to see this. I've never seen it. Um, this will be a fun kind of picture to watch at some point. I have zero reference point for what this film's about or whatever, but um, I will definitely be watching this and I will probably do a 5 and 5 review since this is a Marvel film uh, for you guys to kind of give my opinion and thoughts on it. Uh, let me know, have you ever watched this movie before? Um, and let me know your thoughts on it um, down below. The next item I picked up was a new wallet. Now, I only use a card holder wallet um, just because I like to have a thin wallet. I actually keep it in my front pocket and so a bulky wallet doesn't fit. And honestly, this is all I need. I carry an ID, a couple of cards, and just a little bit of cash. So this is more than enough for my needs when it comes to a wallet. Now, this is by Loungefly. They did a whole collection at Box Lunch of really cool card holders during the month of May. Um, this is a kind of mixed comic book print, so it's a variety of different characters. They had a couple other versions as well of this. They had like a Spider-Man version, I know, and I can't remember the third one now off the top of my head thinking about it. Um, but I've been using this now for a while. I, of course, am filming this video in July, uh, and it's been great. It has held up really well. It's very nice quality. I did take everything out for the purpose of this video because especially showing you the front, I don't want to be flashing my driver's license in my ID, but um, I love these card holders. If you don't, if you're a guy or if you're a girl, they have some really nice ones um, by Loungefly and a variety of different characters and fandoms. Um, of course, I went with a Marvel one because I had to, but, and again, I love Loungefly. I really enjoy their products, so if you haven't checked them out, I highly suggest it. While I was at Box Lunch, I did pick up a couple of Funkos. Um, I bought that with some Funko cash I had. Uh, the first one I got was the 80th anniversary of Namor. I hadn't had this one yet, um, so I finally picked this up because it was there and available. Um, so I'm really excited to add this one to my collection. Looking at it, he has an odd seam on mine above where his swimming briefs are, um, but still really nice. I am excited to have this one. I'm not sure if this will be a display or not, but I really liked this 80th anniversary collection, so I wanted to get as many of them as possible, um, but I'm still kind of picking up a few here and there because I have been able to find them all, but I'm really excited to have this one for my collection, and I hope we do see Day Moore in the near future. I know he's one of the big rumored heroes to be joining the collection that the MCU has, so we'll see what his future holds. The next one I picked up from the store, um, Box Lunch, while I was there getting the wallet, was the Super Scroll. I really like this one. I think this is a really cool and fun design, the way they have him doing all the various powers of the Fantastic Four. Um, they used the uh, cast body, I would guess, of Mr. Fantastic, considering he has the stretched, elongated arm. He has his hand in flame like the Human Torch. His other hand is a rock fist like the Thing, and one of his legs, of course, is going invisible like the Invisible Woman. I think this is a really cool way to represent the Super Scroll. Really excited to pick this one up. I hope 
again, like I said with Namor, I hope eventually we see the Super Scroll come into play um, with either Secret Invasion or perhaps even somehow incorporate him into the Empire storyline that's going right no on right now in the comic books. Um, but not for a while. Um, I really want to see the Scrolls established as an ally and a friend to the planet of Earth, and then there's the big twist, maybe a saga or so down the road uh, that we they are revealed to be the big bad. But um, yeah, I really like this one. All right, everything else I picked up from eBay. Um, I got some pretty good deals. It's kind of the luck of the draw with some of the stuff. Some of the stuff I was willing to pay a little bit more because I really wanted it. Um, the first one I got is a multi-pack. This is from the Captain America Civil War collection. Um, I got this primarily because you got a really cool Funko of Hawkeye in a cool position. Um, and it's his most purple traditional costume to date. I really like that. And then of course I really like the Spider-Man holding the shield. I know that during this collection there was a few different variants of characters holding the shield such as um, uh, Black Widow as well. And then the, honestly, the little keychains. I'm here or there on the keychains from Funko. I find them to be rather brittle, um, and so I don't really use them because of that fact. Uh, so they're just kind of like a nice little extra in here. I might do something with them. Um, I might just drop them into the lamp um, with other miniature Funkos. But yeah, I was really excited for this one, mainly, like I said, because Hawkeye. I've said it before, I have to have all the Hawkeye Funkos. Um, and so when I found this one on eBay, I had to pick it up. Um, I remember now seeing this in the store when it came out, and I never picked it up, and I don't know why, because it seems like something I definitely would have gotten because of that fact, um, but there's probably some reason or another that I didn't, but I'm very excited to have it now. The next one I picked up is the Jessica Jones Funko. Um, this is to kind of add to my Defenders collection. I have a shelf in my room that has Daredevil, Elektra, and the Punisher on it, so she will be added to that collection and with them as part of like a Defenders display. I was really excited to have this. I really enjoyed the Jessica Jones series. Definitely my second favorite of the Netflix runs, uh, and I hope that we get to see more Jessica Jones. I actually got to see, and I'm spacing on the actress that plays her, um, but I got to see her at a Comic-Con here in Houston, and she was great and a lot of fun. Uh, I have to say, based upon some of the things she was saying, she seems pretty okay with ending her portrayal of the character, though. Um, so we'll see what happens moving forward, because I know there's been some rumors and discussion, potentially, regarding the Netflix series and their future in the MCU moving forward. But needless to say, I really like the Jessica Jones one. Um, I'm trying to get myself a Luke Cage as well. That way I have, like, the full team, because I don't think they did an Iron Fist Funko, um, which is a shame because it would be nice to have the full the full team at the end, but um, it is what it is, but I'm happy to have this one. The next one I got is the Taskmaster. Now this is an older Funko. I remember seeing this one and I believe this came out with all of, um, with a collection of Spider-Man. I'm not sure if it was with the big one um, a while back or not, but I remember seeing this and I was like, oh, I should get that. I was like, I'll get it next time. And then next time I went to that store, they were completely sold out and I never saw one again. Um, so I thought this was just a miss, uh, but I was very excited to get this one. Taskmaster, of course, is very on trend right now with everything, uh, with him being the main villain for the upcoming Black Widow film, and he is also a predominant villain in the video game that is coming out. Uh, so it was very appropriate to get the original Funko Taskmaster in his comic book outfit. Um, I really like this look. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it is, of course, since it's an older one, it's back to the more traditional Funko proportions uh, that they were back in the day, but I still don't hate them. I like the look. I fell in love with them with this look, so I'm perfectly okay with it. Uh, but yeah, I. I love the old classic comic book uh, version of his suit, so I'm happy to have this one. Not that I don't like the interpretations they're taking with the film and the video game, but I mean, you can't beat the classic comic book version. Next, I got another Funko I didn't realize was out there and I had missed. It's another Hawkeye. Um, this is him in the time jump suit. Um, this was a Walgreens exclusive, as you can see here. Um, so again, I saw this was on there as I was searching for things and looking at various characters, basically. Uh, I was kind of searching by character and Hawkeye was one of the searches I did just to see if there was any out there I didn't get. And that's why I came across this one as well as the multi-pack one. Um, so I quickly jumped on this one. And I got this one for honestly really cheap. Um, so 
extra kudos there because um, sometimes after the exclusives run out at the store when you shop online at resellers and stuff like that the exclusives can be pretty expensive but this one was still pretty cheap so I got lucky I feel on this one um, but of course that's because I'm a big Hawkeye fan so excited to have this one I'm gonna have to have a whole little display for all my Hawkeye collection of Funkos which I am not mad about the next one I am really excited to add to my my collection, but I am very disappointed with the condition that I received it in. Um, luckily, it seems like everything is fine with the Funko, but this box was just rocked in shipping. Um, it came in a mailer envelope, so it wasn't packed very well, which is very disappointing for the seller. Uh, it's very disappointing in regards to the seller of this because obviously people who are buying these online uh, are collectors and they want these things in good condition again when I display them I take them out of the box so this isn't a big deal to me but if this was say someone who was an avid mint condition collector they would have major complaints on this because it says that it was a new condition on the posting uh, but this is uh, Amidas Cho who is a Hulk uh, from this is specifically the gamer verse for the future fight collection um, there was also the Sharon Rogers uh, as Captain America which I have that one as well so there was more like the pair so I picked this one up I really liked this one um, he is currently a running character in the um, agents of Atlas which I have read a few of those and kind of enjoyed that story um, so it'd also be very interesting to see if maybe he pops up in the MCU because it seems like things are transitioning to where there will be replacements and of course everyone was looking at She-Hulk to replace the Hulk um, but he would also be in a potential uh, replacement for our Hulk and he is another really smart scientist type which would really replace Bruce Banner really well excuse me um, so it'd be interesting to see if he played in and then that would potentially open up the world of the agents of Atlas which Shang-Chi is also a part of um, so that would be another tie-in and crossover potential so we'll see what happens especially with the number of team-up films and ensemble films that are definitely gonna have to be coming down the road because of all the different teams that are or characters that are gonna be available to really Really focus on all of them there's going to be big team up films so that would be another potential one that we could see is Agents of Atlas featuring Shang-Chi and potentially Amidas Cho uh, but yeah really excited about this one I, I enjoy the character from the comics and I hope we see him in the future in the MCU Speaking of the Hulk, I picked up the duo of these because I was able to find both of these together for less than I could buy the one particular. Um, so this is the Hulkbuster and then the Hulkbuster GameStop exclusive, which is the one I was trying to get, which is the Hulk bursting out of the suit of armor. Uh, something that was teased but wasn't actually part of the film. Um, because of everything going on between Bruce and the Hulk. Um, so I ended up getting both of these. I will probably only display this one because it is the one I specifically wanted and it's such a really cool visual of him bursting out of the suit of armor. Um, not that the regular Hulkbuster isn't really cool as well, but for me personally, I'm more excited about this one. Um, so I will definitely try to find a place for him. Again, he is a big uh, boy, so I have to find a spot where there's space for that. Um, which again in my apartment is very limited, but I, I just like that one a lot So I definitely want to have it out somewhere and because I specifically searched for this one um, As I was searching because it was one of the ones I missed out on and I really wanted so um, Yeah, I'm really excited about that and finally, the one that I was able to pick up that is really quite something uh, special, I think, and I'm excited to have it, um, is the Captain America 75th Anniversary Edition. And this is this is the Chase version where he is um, in a muted tone um, because there was of course the version where he is in his 75th anniversary costume uh, but it was the regular color and then there's this like faded version um, I was able to get this one I actually got this one for a good deal considering how much some of these were going uh, so I was very excited to get this I have a shelf that is dedicated to Captain America so I will definitely be adding this to that one um, it's such a cool look and like I said I really like how the color is muted it really gives it that aged look which is appropriate I thought for the 75th anniversary Funko for Captain America um, it has a really cool display on the back of this box as well because of the commemorative purpose of the box um, 
though again, I will probably hold onto this box, but I will take it out um, and display it out of its box because that's the kind of person I am. All you serious collectors, collectors I'm sure are gasping in shock at that, but um, yeah, uh, this is a really cool get. Um, so many really cool gets on eBay, I have to say. I really enjoyed shopping on there. I had to stop myself and I have really not been back on <laughs> since um, I ordered I got all these and placed these bids um, just because it is a wormhole that I could find myself going down for a long time. Uh, but I would love to hear from you. What did you pick up that is Marvel related over the month of May? And what did you think of the items I picked up? Was there anything that you really liked? Um, I will link a few things down below that I can. Um, really the only thing I can link down for you guys is the wallet, um, which I will link you to Box Lunch where you can see the full collection of those they still have quite a few and the uh, the card holder wallets have been a kind of a popular thing that's been in many of the collections since that big collection came out um, so I think it's gonna be something that we're gonna see moving forward quite a bit from lounge fly and box lunch uh, which they do a lot of collaborations which is really cool uh, but yeah I really excited with everything I picked up I have some great things I need to find homes for and so I'm gonna go ahead and go I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a like I always appreciate it and of course subscribe to the channel as well and set the alerts if you'd like to make sure you get notified when all my videos go live until then I hope you are having a marvelous rest of your day bye friend